Hi, YouTubers. Um, welcome back to NASAC YouTube channel. This is Johnny. Today, I'm going to talk about um, credential guard and compatibility issue between Windows Hyper-V and uh, VMware Workstation. If you watched my previous video, you will notice I created a video regarding how to enable Windows Sandbox. Let's show you a nice feature of Windows 10 since version 1903. And there's a Windows Sandbox, you can use it as your test sandbox environment. I use it a lot recently, testing all kinds of software or opening some special links you want to check, so especially those suspicious links. Unfortunately, nothing is perfect. The sandboxing looks great and uh, it's created a problem as well. So my Windows VMware workstation not working anymore. Um, once I try to start it, my Windows 10 x 64 bit workstation, I got this device credential guard are not compatible and a message. It won't let me to run my VMware on my machine. They also give you transport VMDB error. If you go to website, you will find lots of uh, unclear information how to resolve it. They didn't, you can follow this KB. It didn't show you the steps, it just tell you, oh yes, uh, Microsoft, it's a known issue. It's a uh, micro, so you need to go to, you need to resolve, disable device guard or credential guard. How? They didn't tell you. And even you go to manage Windows, Defender credential guard, like it didn't, it just oh, okay, go here. It's very ambient, not clear, and difficult to follow the KB. So, to resolve this issue, actually, there's a much easy way for you to do. Here, I'm going to show you. You just need to uh, open your command prompt, but you best to run it from your admin. This trader account. My system is rebooted and it's back online now. So now let's take a look. We can start our virtual machine perfectly. There's no issue at all. My Windows 10 virtual machine, my voucher for Linux virtual machine, or starting no problem. But how about your sandbox? You won't be able to start with it. There's no hypervisor was found. We disabled it hyper -V. So could another question is how you're gonna enable your hyper-V if you really want it back? It's just one command as well. Run it from your administrator com command prompt and just one command. Last time we set it here, it set all. Now we just need to set it on all two. Reboot your machine, you will get a higher way back. But also you lost your VMware workstation. So either hyper either we are real workstation. You need to decide it at this moment. That's all for my today's video. Thank you for watching. Hello.